the objective or the skill is using the rubric to grade yourself. And the purpose for learning this skill is because you're going to need this when you go to college. Because when your professors give you an assignment, they usually give you an assignment along with a rubric. And a lot of times they don't go through the rubric because they expect you to already know how to use that. And the rubric is just to gauge yourself and to make sure that you're meeting all the criteria to whatever the assignment will be. So you guys are going to be grading yourself today. So I'm just going to model for you how I would grade myself using a rubric. And this will help me um, to make the corrections that I need so that I can get that mastery level. I want to get the top grade I can get. And the rubric will help me get there. So depending on your race, where will you live? Where you live may make it harder on you. So first I look at my rubric. And is everybody there? Okay. And the first one is claim. The mastery level says the writer's claim is directly related to the count. The claim is supported by relevant evidence and reasoning. Um, depending on your race, where you live, it makes it harder for you. Um, you developing. Developing. I will rate myself developing. The claim relates to the prompt, but it is not precisely described in the analysis. Could she say, um, depending on your race, where you live, it makes you make the hard for you. So it's right. not just She's not describing where she lives. She's not describing where she lives. Okay, so that would fall under developing. Um, the next category would be evidence. The writer provides relevant and sufficient evidence to develop the claim fairly. The evidence is directly related to the claim. The evidence is supported by a clear and directly connected reasoning. For example, in the text it says, so why does Kendall feel personally targeted? And I don't. Well, Kendall is black and grew up here. I'm white and didn't. My evidence to support this claim and my example is that schools close only on the side putting kids in danger. The black kids that grew up in the neighborhood are targeted because no one is trying to help them. Can I get a little help? The writer provides evidence, but it may not be sufficient or relevant enough to develop the claims fairly. The evidence is connected to the claim, but it is not accurately explained in the reasoning. Well, she gives specific examples to show that maybe where you live it makes it harder. But is she really specific? No. No. So, is the textual evidence relevant? I know, but is it relevant? It is. Is it sufficient? Is it enough? No, we could use a little bit more. What about the reasoning? Um, does she explain her reasons for the evidence? Well, so I thought what she said, my evidence to support this claim is my assumption is that schools close only on the side putting kids in danger. <coughs> I would say that it's connected, but it doesn't accurately explain. I would still hear a little more. So that also would be developing. And then reasoning. The writer analyzes each piece of evidence and attempts to explain how it relates back to the claim. However, however, the explanation may be underdeveloped or unrelated to the claim. That falls under developing. I think that's about right. Okay. So at this point, after I rate myself and I go back and I say, oh, I really want to get that mass, I really want to master this. So I have to go back and revise my work to meet the criteria that falls under that mastery category so that I can get that A. Okay. Are there any questions, comments? Okay. So really quickly, can somebody tell me, um, what was the purpose of going through this? So we can, um, yeah. so we can know, know how to grade ourselves and which, like, which, like, which is right.
very long. Okay. 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 And how will learning this help you in the future? With the hand? 